Hi, this is Kirsten Hubbard of Ghostwriter here to talk about making sure that your organization is prepared and poised for the next round of ARPA funding. And I have a secret about it. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, to make sure that you get more videos about how to make sure that your organization maximizes its potential for grants. So what's the secret? Here it is. Grants do not necessarily go to the organizations who are doing the best work or who have the most innovative work or who reach the most people. Grants often go to the organizations who are most prepared. And that can be very different. So how do you make sure that your organization is one of those that is best prepared and in line and ready for when ARPA and other federal funding or state funding comes down? Here is our five secrets to success. First of all, your SAMS and your DUNS number. Go on to SAMS.gov, make sure yours is up to date. And if you think it's up to date, double check because there have been changes. Recently, um, the federal government moved from the DUNS number to a UEI. We, it's our, in our experience that that process has been a little slow and has taken a lot of time. Take care of it now. Make sure you're at least in the queue um, to make sure that you get that new UEI number. That's number one. So number two, use technology to stay up to date. Subscribe to emails to make sure that you know when things are coming or set your Google alerts. I use Google alerts all the time to make sure that I'm really, really informed and I'm the first one to know when that funding comes down. Because if you only have six weeks to get a grant together, those days really, really, really count. So make sure you're in the know, subscribe to emails, use your technology, use Google alerts. Third, direct your energy carefully. So a lot of organizations that we know who are new to grant writing, they're so enthusiastic about their mission and it is wonderful. But sometimes that blinds them a little bit and they end up spending a lot of time and energy on grants that aren't really a good fit for them. They just believe so much that if people hear their message, they are going to win that grant. Now, I could write Shakespeare, and I still can't write around grant guidelines. Make sure that you evaluate grant opportunities and direct your energies on the ones that are best suited for your organization. And kind of hand in hand in that is number four. Grant guidelines, read every word. Sometimes grant guidelines can be really nice and simple and easy in two or three page documents. Other times they can be 50 page documents. Take the time, read every word. There are important information in there. I literally have skimmed sometimes. I've learned this from experience and gone through the whole grant process to realize at the end that we did not qualify. So make sure, put the time in, read every word of that grant guideline. The fifth one that we have is create a toolbox. This is our secret. We do it for all of our clients. Create a toolbox, um, a folder on one of your Dropbox or your Google Drives that has all of the information that is frequently asked for during a grant. Make sure you have your 501c3. If your state has um, a charitable license that it needs, make sure you have all those documents, budgets and financials. Make sure you have all of that in one place ready to pull. It makes it so much easier. Make sure they're up to date so you can just pull it and know that it's correct. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and include a link below to the grant toolbox that we use. We like to have those, but you are free to make your own. Um, but we want to make sure that you have that resource. Um, so good luck. 